Capitol Hill where the January 6 hearings resumed today with elections officials from both Georgia and Arizona. They're expected to testify about claims that former President Trump's unduly uh, pressured election officials to flip both states from blue to red after the races had already been called for then candidate Joe Biden. Allison Harris previews what we can expect to see. Allison. Adrian, it's hearing number four that's happening this afternoon, and this one is focused on the pressure the committee says the former president put on those state elections officials to overturn the presidential election results. Now, many might remember the audio of Mr. Trump on a call with the Georgia Secretary of State after the election, but before January 6th. That was Trump asking him to find him 11,780 votes. That top election official for the state of Georgia is expected to testify Today, we are also going to hear from other elections officials from Georgia as well as from Arizona. Over the weekend, we did hear from the former president himself bashing his old VP, Mike Pence, at a rally in Nashville. Trump saying that Pence had a chance to be great, but he didn't have the courage to act overturning the election results, so maintaining his stance there. And we're now hearing from Mike Pence himself, who spoke in a rare speech on Monday, vaguely addressing the 2020 election and not talking about January 6th. We've all been through a lot over the last several years. A global pandemic, social unrest, a divisive election, a tragic day in our nation's capital, and an administration seemingly every day driving our economy into the abyss of a socialist welfare state. Pence also said in an interview yesterday that he has never seen a president say as many falsehoods as President Joe Biden. The hearing this afternoon is going to be led by Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff. That's the same congressman who led President Trump's first impeachment trial. A reminder, Adrian, this panel uh, is mostly Democratic, all appointed by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Yes, and the two Republicans who are on the panel are uh, fierce uh, critics of former President Trump. Also interesting to note, Allison, I I'm sure that you read a lot about uh, what uh, the vice president and watched what the vice president said here in Chicago. But interesting to note that he said uh, that he and the former president parted amicably, uh, that there was no hostility between the two of them. They had lots of conversations. They didn't necessarily see eye to eye about what happened on January 6th, but that it's Democrats who are creating a diversion or a distraction uh, from the real issues. Did you hear about that? Yes, and I think it's also interesting, you know, to hear him continue to speak out publicly against President Biden when he could say something, anything about Trump uh, and Trump's comments, all of this being in the news about January 6th. But he's choosing not to talk about January 6th, not to talk about any of the revelations the committee is bringing forth uh, in these committee hearings, still continuing to say that the Biden administration is not doing a good job as he believes handling inflation and so many of these other issues and crises uh, that are plaguing the Biden administration here. Allison Harris, thank you so much for being with us as always. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.